All right, so I've talked about um, the color grading uh, a little bit. And like I said, it's better you uh, actually attend the color grading class because it's actually a very big, deep topic to talk about. So I've explained the color wheel, right? And then I've explained um, the, the, this one, the color wheel on this one, which is the use, saturation, and value. And to recap, I said there are different type of color grading. We have the, um, let me use the second one. We have the monochrome color grading. We have the dyad. We have the complementary. We have the analogous complementary. We have the split complementary. We have the triadic. We have the analogous. We have the double complementary um, color grading. So all these are the possible color grading you can actually use. The hardest one is the double complementary and sometimes the um, analogous complementary. So as I also said, before you take your model, you before you take photo of your model you, before and you need to know what she's putting on the background you are using and things the colors that are going to be present in the photo it's actually going to help you during the color grading process so i explained that as well so we have one two three four five six seven eight eight type of color grading we also have um this other wheel which describe this one in um the other part of this side now since we have um this one u saturation and value when the value is at 100 percent we have the main color when it's at zero percent we have black when the saturation is at 100 percent we have the main color when it's at zero we have white why the u is just changing you can change the u of any color to another color you can change the u of the blue to the purple and you can change it to the the type of the teal blue you can change the yellow to red you can change it to orange you can change it to green so that's what the u does it changes the color the value of the color the saturation changes the value of the lightness and the um the desaturation yes of the color now the more you desaturate the color the more it becomes like hotter colors for example red red when you desaturate red it becomes more darker if you also reduce the value and you can see it can change to brown so meaning we have three colors but in the sense that when you desaturate the red you get brown you get deep brown you get rich brown and then at a point you even get black so uh, not um, completely black though very rich dark brown okay so those colors are still found under red and that's why when you make adjustment to skin tones using the u and saturation adjustment layer or any other um, um, layers or adjustments you see you tend to see that the red affect the color of the skin more even though the person is black or even though the person is very fair so that's that about the red i also describe the moods of the color what and um, blue describes blue mean cool strong um why um purple means royal means um the yellow means youthful playful and the rest of so you can look up that later on so for this one i'm actually going to explain I'm actually going to explain um, why some colors are good in color grading. So let's see the first one. I'm going to turn on this one and turn off this one. So I'll be making reference to this. Um, let me group from here to this side. I'm going to group it and then let's turn it off. So I'm starting with this one. This, what type of color grading is this? Um, you, this is monochrome. This is monochrome color grading. I explain what monochrome is. Um, let's bring it up. So monochrome is one color, which is this ranging just one color from um, white to the saturation of the color. So I'm turning it back off. So this is monochrome. And the color we're seeing here is which color? Just turn on your wheel and you're going to see it. So turn it on. Let's make it small like this and you can drag it around and see which color like i said uh, i wouldn't actually say it's completely monochrome because of the skin color okay but now i can see a touch of kind of green in the background so we have green except we have black there so we have green i can see green um so we have monochrome this type of color this one which is uh what's it called willow color 
that's what i'm seeing and if i don't see we look color i'm seeing this one you the lang joy inside the image so this one is there or this one is there so kind of yellow green it's actually there um for this one if we want to um, count the brown skin tones then we are going for complementary color which is the two color that are present but the complementary of this green is red so and we don't have any red color in the image so therefore i'm going to go with the um uh, let's see the color of our lipstick the color of our lipstick is still okay we have purple okay so let me turn this one off let's see the colors inside the image we have purple you can see purple on uh deep purple on our eyes and this is actually purple too so we have three colors there which is triadic now it's it's triadic we have purple we have green so turn it on we have purple which is this one purple we have um green which is this one and then we have the skin tones which is this one this um red orange so one two three so this looks like triadic and not monochrome let's look at another one i'm going to turn on this one and let's see so uh from the look of things we have the red we also have the um skin tones we also have the red in the background is there any other color yes she's putting on um green yeah kind of green so let's look let's analyze the type of color grading pattern used there so we have red and we have green so this is complementary color grading just opposite and if there is no, any other color there apart from red and green red to green yeah red to green if the sky is actually blue if the sky is blue then we have um analogous complementary but i, I doubt they are blues except the sky is blue uh, okay i still have a little blue right here so you can see kind of blue right here we still have green you can see the dark part of the image is color graded to green so apart from that we all just have that value there green red and maybe let's say blue in the sky so it's either of those two you use um the complementary or the analogous complementary color color grading which is which one let's turn it on analogous complementary which is this one right here okay so i'm going to turn that off and let's move forward with another image let's see this one okay so this was color graded from this to this i'm going to turn off this one and this one so this was color graded from this to this okay so from this to this now in the main um, image we have the yellow in the green we have um green so it was color graded to this color okay that's another one color graded to this one so we have blues just one color to white nope blue to the color of our skin tone is what yep it's kind of red or orange so let's look at the color grading type i'm going to turn it off we have red blue so once you notice that we have red colors of our skin to the blue oh come on stay in the middle color of our skin blue um you can see the blue this blue and this blue and the color of our skin is uh, maybe yellow so we have these two colors which is complementary complementary color grading we have the orange which is still under the red color and we also have some red on our lipstick but that's very very small and not noticeable so um if we want to analyze that we have this just these two colors complementary colors color grading and if you don't want to just pick you want to pick the color of our lipstick then you are going to go to analogous complementary but for this one i'm not going to go to analogous complementary i'm just going to go to blue complementary so that's you see why it was color graded that way from there to here now let's turn it off okay so another one i've talked about this uh, i guess this too so this is still green color grading this is still green color grading so we had we have the red lipstick we have the uh, orange light and the yellow light we also have the 
background the blue bluish teal green yeah we have blue type let's look at the color wheel for this one I kind of see some green in the background and also some blues so let's see the color grading pattern that's used uh, first of all we have red and also we have green we have yellows and kind of um, one two three at the purple no purple uh, we just have just those two colors and we can say that this one is analogous complementary why because we have yellow we have green we have blues we have yellows on our body we have blues you can see this part of where my mouse is hovering over is the, this kind of color blue or um, this teal blue I'll call it teal blue because it has some green attached to it uh, we have some greens also in the background in the shadows so green right here we have some yellow so we have complementary um, sorry we have analogous complementary okay so let's turn it off so it was color graded from this to this from this to this and notice how it affects the mood of the image looking very very calm and the focus has been changed you can see the focus of the face change because they increase the value of the saturation and lightness in the image and why other things are you no know, pushed to the background by decreasing the value or decreasing the saturation so um you can see that the light also has more attraction so when you have things um when you push up the lightness you tend to attract the subject's eye to or the person the viewer's eye to the what's brighter in the image and when you bring down the value you tend to push out what's um, attractive to the viewer okay so i'm going to turn those two off let's go ahead and look at this one this one now for this one this has how many color we have two color definitely this is complementary color grading and let's see using the color we what color we have we have purple so you can see how elegance is the, it is it describes the image i can rotate this one and we can see like this so we have this color and this orange color the orange pushing it out to this light um, orange so we have this one this one are they greens you can check if there are greens in the image so there are no greens but there's this blue the blue is there this blue this one this blue blue green blue green this is blue green blue green uh, we have the uh, this color looks like okay this color looks like um, orange so blue green orange and then we have um, purple blue green oil so this triadic this triadic color grading because on the color on our body we have this blue green make it bigger we have this blue green on the uh, this side we have this kind of color so one two and then we move to this other side which is this purple color which is the triadic colors now notice because the triadic is equally separated does not mean that you can push it out it's actually like this yellow green and purple okay so let's go ahead turn it off and let's go to the next one which is this one now this you can see how the background is desaturated and we have more now as this looking brownish and the skin looking brownish is still red color so let's turn on our, our wheel color wheel and let's see now we have red color which is like this orange and then we have this um, teal green kind of color this one which is found here under the green um, we have this one and it's at the purple no purple we just have green and we have brown and just those two colors are there so that's just the two colors we have the green and the red so i guess that's complementary color but the saturated one so we have red and green this is complementary color grading except what she's putting on nothing 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 else okay so that's for that 
and let's go ahead and look at other photos so this one this one we have touch of green we have red so this should be complementary when you have two colors this is complementary red and green so look at the and light red and this one green so you can actually change the um the color grading also by changing the u of the green and changing the u of the red so i'm going to teach you how to do that in the master class okay so um this is just i'm just brushing through so i think if you actually you can register and know more about this stuff okay so this one i've talked about this and this one you can really see that we have two colors yellow and blue so what comes to your mind let's see what comes to my mind we have the yellow we have the blue yellow blue yellow blue um sorry these two color we have complementary color complementary color grading so just two colors and i'm going to come down and choose the last photo which is this one what two color is this red and green of course you know complementary even asking tones is already um, red or orange so we have red and green this green green and red like this so you can i can i can change this photo and twist the color wheel like this and show you what she's putting on so we have that green and red these two colors but yellow green and red so there are some color wheels that are different like this one is different this one this color wheel is different you can see that we have this green and red and beside the green we have these other colors so that's color grading um how to know the colors to pick when you want to go and take your shot and so that the color grading process is going to be very very easy so i'm going to talk about the tools you are going to use in um color grading i'm also going to talk about um yep i'm also going to talk about your the tools you are going to use in color grading how to use those tools the main important tools you are using in color grading how to color grade your images the mood you can actually choose for the color grading process um the how to set out the mood what to do and the rest so if you are interested you can actually register for the color grading class Thank you very much. I'm going to see you later on.